Detecting issues or knowing exactly what's happening on mobile application is a complex task. When publishing an application in the stores, the application runs in a huge variety of devices with different characteristics. Therefore, detecting that problems as soon as possible help us to be able to fix the issues more quickly. Today, we are going to talk about Sentry with .NET MAUI applications to perform error monitoring. The maintenance and support for mobile and desktop applications can become in a complex task. The application runs on a huge variety of devices with different screen size, different resolution, CPUs, RAM memory, among other series of features also related to the operating system, like uh, with different versions of the system and customization of the same, which can cause it to detect problems a complex, really complex task, especially when the application is deployed in different stores and running on a huge variety of devices. Today, we are going to talk about Sentry. Sentry is an application monitoring software which allows us to track different sessions that the users do in our applications and also monitor the errors, having access to information related to the error, the stack trace, you know, all the information related with the uh, error, screen captures, and information related to uh, that application, the database where the application was running, etc. This way, we can have faster access to identifying errors so that we can restore and fix these problems faster. Sentry includes a .NET MAUI support to monitor and analyze errors for MAUI applications. To do this, we only need to register with an email and send it to have access to the Sentry account and have access to the SDK that is available via Nugget package. We can install the package with this command, .NET add package sentry .maui. And we can search the package directly on Nugget with the identifier sentry .maui. Or we could go directly to Visual Studio on a MAUI project, manage Nugget package, and search for sentry .maui and use the install button to install the package. The package has some related dependencies related with login extensions, among others. This will be the first step that we are going to do to take and use uh, Sentry monitoring in our .NET MAUI applications. Among the set of possibilities that this, these frameworks allow us, we have access to uh, you know, reports of uh, .NET managed code using the .NET SDK, but also we have access to native crash reports on iOS, Android, and Mac Catalyst using the Android SDKs or the Cocoa SDKs for iOS. We have access to the entry stack trace when we upload the PDBs files to Sentry, and also we have access to more information like, you know, the number of lines where the error occurred, you know, a stack trace is created where we can span and navigate directly through the entry life cycle of our application with the different events and uh, everything that happened. It. Also, we can get access to uh, more information like uh, a screenshot of the application or information about the device where the application is running. Well, once we install the Nugget Packard, the next thing that we need to do is create a project. And when creating a project, we are providing some basic information known as the, you know, we need to use the use sentry extension method in the uh, MAUI program class and use the property DSN that is included inside the options of uh, the extension method use entry, and we can get access to this case directly on our project. So we need to go to the MAUI program class. We are going to use the use sentry extension method and within this extension method, we will pass a parameter that is the sentry MAUI options, which allow us to configure sentry parameters and options related to the project. But the main and required one is use paste the DSN. With this, we will have direct access to all the trace and information related to errors in our applications. Done, simple than this. However, we can add and use more parameters indicated in the documentation. In the, you know, uh, starting a boarding 
options related with Maui and Sentry, we can get access to all these parameters. So we can, for example, use the include test in breadcrumbs uh, property that will just include information related with the uh, user interface, like, you know, button text, label text, etc. By default, these options are disabled. Uh, this could come uh, to contain some identifiable information, you know, personally set information. We have another parameter included uh, that is the include title in breadcrumbs that is related with the previous one. Every, you know, view that inherit from the iTitle property like Windows or Page will include this information or include backgrounding state in breadcrumbs that will include extra information related when, for example, you know, the applications goes to background, etc. Activation, deactivation, etc. We call directly access to uh, each of these properties in our application and enable them if necessary. Once we have registered a Sentry, once we have created the project, we had the DS10 and we added that in our Maui program class. It's all the necessary that we have to start registering event. The next step will be use some method that we need to use to record, for example, event or, uh, for example, record exceptions. So let me launch these applications to see each of these steps. So we have a .NET Maui application very similar to the Hello World. More buttons uh, are included, just including functionality to capture exception of different types. We have here the main page, main page where we have uh, here each of these buttons that we have on the screen. If we go to the code behind, to the associated code, what we do is, for example, by clicking and increasing the counter, in addition to increase the counter on our main page, we are receiving the logger. And here we are injecting it. And then we use the logger later to, for example, log information. That will allow us to, for example, uh, make a logging information and registering some uh, some, some information, or for example, we can register some warnings or some, some, some information related with debugging, etc. That will be useful using the logger with the log information, log exception, log warning, etc. methods. The Sentry SDK itself also allows us to cause exceptions, to, to, to throw exceptions within the Sentry SDK instance. We have a number of methods, for example, we have the method cause crash, which simple deliberately will cause an exception in the application, which will be useful only in this kind of case in which we are reviewing the SDK, reviewing the possibilities for Sentry. Well, at the information level, at the demonstration level, obtain the information in the dashboard and that we are going to see later. In this case, we are using a manage type exception, but we also have options to cause exception from a background thread. For example, in this case, here, relaunching the application, and in this button, we can cause exceptions from a background thread. So in our application using Sentry, we will perform an action. In this case, what is being done is directly capture an exception, but we will wrap a method, an action in a try catch, for example, where the, we have the information related with the exception and using the Sentry SDK capture exception method, we can directly pass the information related with the uh, application. And then how we can take a look to all this information? Well, let's take a look to the dashboard. We have here the dashboard, we can navigate to the project and we can see information like, for example, filtered by, you know, last 24 hours, 7 days, 40, 30 days, you know, a big entry period where the application is running to see information like the crash, free user, sessions, number of release. And then we have uh, charts, some graphs with uh, the number of sessions 
with uh, crash-free sessions, the number of errors also over the time, and in the bottom section, we will see the number of exceptions. We can access all the exceptions directly from here. Of course, we have some filters with all the exceptions, new exceptions, etc. If we see one of them, for example, uh, this event capture, we see in details how it works. The most interesting part is the stack trace, where we see that one button, the counter button, is uh, tapped four times. Then, after one capture exception uh, button is uh, released, and when released, an exception occurs where the error missa, the exception, has been released from uh, capture manually. We have all the trace, we have the, all the information related with the device, the user ID, you know, uh, the runtime, in this case, is used on Net8, in Android 14, in an emulator, etc. Also, in this section, we have the, the manage or not manage code, and if uh, was in release, on the book, etc. We have some attachments with captures at different times, different states, and we have uh, the device information with, you know, all the data resolution, the memory size, among other options. This automatically creates a series of tags that we can use to filter, for example, by system, for example, under 13, 14, etc. Having we call directly track, you know, the errors directly adding together all the information that we have captured directly in Sentry. This is a uh, manage exceptions, but uh, what happens with native exceptions? If we go back to our project, we see that we have here a native grass button or application is closed. We don't have much more information. We don't have much more details. In the output, we see some information about the error of our applications. And then, in Sentry, we can just cause manage uh, native uh, crashes, native exceptions, a class of type of Java, and all these errors are recorded in Sentry. If we go back, we see the whole list of issues, of exceptions. So let's take a look here. The issues not managed, we can navigate to one cause at native level, and in this case, all the information is pretty similar. We see the application is launched, is passed by the app shell, then is navigating to a page, the window is created, activated, change the layout of the window, then tap a button that is called here with its name, and throw a Java exception. Remember that. Uh, this information, we capture this information um, enabling some parameters from, you know, from the MAUI program class with some of the configuration options. When release the button, an exception is caused by Sentry cause crash. This, uh, we have here the device information, some captures and detailed device information. In addition to explore, the entry set of uh, errors in order dashboard section, we can create different alerts, which is sent notification uh, to us in different ways. We can associate them with a specific project and we can manage in addition if of the projects with different configuration options indicating the settings of, uh, you know, uh, time that must happen. If we have some integration, for example, with Twilio, send me us to do any other or do any other kind of actions. We can, you know, process all the files, get uh, performance measurements that we, we can capture with, with the metrics, etc. Science Sentry is a good option to manage and capture exceptions for our application. The next question could be, what is the price? Well, for a single developer, for a single user, the price is free. We have all the information here from one user monitoring up to 5,000 of servers, etc. Then, depending on the size of the team, we will have different price with uh, different characteristics based on the business. For example, based on the data volume, etc. We can ban monthly or annual payment as we are interested in use it in our application. And we get to the end of the video. 
I hope that the content has been useful for you. If so, remember to like and also to subscribe to not miss notifications when new content is released. See you soon.